back to Prepper Junkie. Today on the table, we're actually going to review the EOTech. This is their new 5X magnifier. Let's get this review started. Alright folks, so yeah, this is the 5X magnifier and we have an, e, uh, an EOTech EXPS 3-0 on the front here. Actually, I'm just going to go over my gun because I know people are going to ask about it. Um, this is a B5 SOT mod stock. This is a Knight's Armament 11.5 inch upper. Um, this is a an SBR lower from Aero Positions, the M4E1 uh, lower, which is probably my favourite um, kind of lower. If I'm buying a strip lower, I usually buy one of these. Are really cool. I'm actually waiting for my Knight's Arm and SBR lower to be approved. Still. Um, so, anyway, so we have this on here. Uh, at the front here, we have a D ball. Uh, we have a Surefire Vampire Light. We have a Dead Air Brake. Uh, what else we got here? It's a BCM grip. Uh, we have a Radian charging handle on the back. Trigger is a three, the Geisley three gun trigger, which is really cool, but it's a little too light if, for me for anything other than competition. On the other side, we have a maritime bolt catch uh, and mag release right there. I think that's pretty much everything. Anyway, okay, so back to this combo. For me, this is such an iconic combo. When I think magnifier and a red dot, this is what I think. I think it just looks awesome personal preference obviously but i dig it a lot so now a lot of people may be asking you know kind of are going through our our uh are these combos kind of are they are they kind of finished now with lpvos and i don't think so there's i think there's still an absolute a place for magnifiers with red dots maybe a conversation for a different day to go over why that is but um, i think there's definitely still a place for these combos especially with the magnifiers coming at 5x now i think that's a big game changer and several other companies do have the 5x magnifiers eotech is still my favorite magnifier though um, out of the ones that are currently out there so uh, this will look very familiar it look very similar to the original uh g33 magnifier which it should because it's roughly the same length as the old one. Now, yes, there's a new magnifier with EOTech with the 3X, which is shorter. Um, but again, if you're looking at the old magnifier, this one is pretty much the exact same length. It has the same flip to side uh, mount system, which I, I think I love it. Very positive. You know, it's not going anywhere when I flip that. When that moves there, it's solid until I want to move that back. When it clicks in place, it's there. And it's also QD. You have a QD button. Just push that in and flip up the lever and you can pull your magnifier off. So even if you don't want to run it all the time and you just want to keep it in a bag or something like that and just bring it out when you need to, you can do that and just, just flip that straight on. Now, again, my favorite out of all the magnifiers, uh, this definitely has the best mounting system for QD and flip to side, by far my favorite. Now at the back here, we do have an adjustable diopter, which is really nice. So um, especially if you're, you know, aging eyes and you've got to you know kind of fine tune that a little bit like i am uh, you can do that it does have a kind of a rubber uh, jacket coating thing on here it's um it's not it you can see you can take it on and off but it sits on there to protect the tube and then you have these adjustments here now obviously this does not adjust your um, your reticle but what this does is when you're looking through you you can see the reticle um, and if this isn't lined up properly your reticle might be off to the side so you just basically adjust these to move the reticle to the center of your magnifier obviously you're not doing anything with the actual reticle on your optic you're just centering it on your uh, your magnifier hopefully that makes sense so eye relief uh, you have to get pretty close that's my eye relief that is it perfect right there so what are we at maybe a couple of inches to two and a half inches you got to get up and close and that's that's always been the case with magnifiers and and so that's just fine the, the glass clarity on these are really nice and i love the 5x i love that i can reach out a little further now than having the 3x on there 5x for, again for me i think is a big game changer because you know with a 5x you're beating some of the one in four lpvo distances um and you're not quite obviously quite out to the one in six but i think for such a compact unit 
um, and getting able to reach out to, to the 5X is awesome. You know, yes, I have this paired behind an EOTech right now, but I've also been using this behind an endpoint with the right the right size uh, mount. You can line this up with uh, an endpoint T2 also, which I've been doing um, to see how it works. And it's been really, really great, really nice. Excellent quality and construction. Again, I think EOTech has the best magnifiers on the market for the size, the compactness, um, for the mounting solution, for the glass clarity and things like that. I don't. I still think uh, EOTech is the is the best company for the magnifiers out there. Again, um, if I had to choose one, it's going to be the EOTech. Again, you know, you have that flip to side, so you're you're doing close quarter combat. Everything's going great. Bum 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 long range or longer range target need a bit of modification or maybe you just want to pid you know but you've got to get a little oh, i've got my my stock all the way back you've got to get a little closer to just get the so with the, you know obviously with the eel tech you can be pretty much wherever then you got to get to the side put it back get it lined up and then you've got some magnification again uh, maybe you're not shooting, maybe you just want the occasional PID, you know, positive identification. Maybe you just want that occasional, I need to see what's out there, bring it up. Oh, that's what it is. Put it back down. Or maybe you do want to use those longer range shots. Now, you can also change the, uh, now with the, now with the uh, EXPS series, um, now XPS and EXPS with the EOTech simply is XPS is no quick detach mount, EXPS, quick detach mount. Um, but this is the EXPS 3-0, which also means night vision uh, and things like that. Now you can do, this is a 3-0. Now there's a 3-1, 2, 3, and 4. And so you'll have their, I'll, put, I'll roll an image in, but you'll have the donut of death. Then you'll have dots going below it. And there you're like 100 yards, 200 yards, 300, whatever it may be. And you can use those to range with your magnifier. Okay, so final thoughts on the EOTech uh, magnifier. Um, I, I personally really like it. I love this combo together. I think it's uh, it functions really, really well for what I'm looking for. Um, and again, um, I think the quality of construction is excellent. They're a little pricey. I mean, you can pick them up for probably $600, $650. So they are definitely on the pricey end. Um, but again, I like this combo. Uh, personally for you know stuff that I want to do I do really like it and I think the quality of construction is absolutely there and having that 5x um, at a simple flip is awesome because um, LPVOs for me I'm definitely not as fast as I am with an EOTech radical with the EOTech I'm definitely much much faster um, and then as I say just being able to get that magnification if I need it for whatever reason I have it as a backup and if I don't need it and if my you know if whatever I'm doing and I don't need a magnifier just pop it off with that QD mount so excellent quality huge fan highly recommended um, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. Uh, links in the description if you want to buy one of these. And uh, if you haven't that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it really helps me out. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And that's it, folks. Until next time, I'll catch you later.